it is very easy to trust in the wisdom of the world I mean it's 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 all around us every day we're surrounded by the wisdom of the world on the television screen on the computer at work at the your 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 recreation places your leisure places at the bars and wherever you go this is all you know owned by the wisdom of the world and so it is is even more important that you know you spend time with God in God's presence being instructed in the ways of God you see and being intimate with God to know God it was the story of uh, Mary and Martha and Martha was busy involved in other things while Mary was at the feet of Jesus and Jesus uh, clearly said to her that you know to Martha hey you you know what Mary has done is more important you see the more important things are the ones that that don't appear like you you know they don't appear they appear like foolishness in the eyes of the world like what is that going how are you going to you know how are you going to uh, uh, fight against Egypt the human way to fight against Egypt I'm saying uh, metaf the, the the Egypt of old you know which symbolized the world uh, was to fight with their physical hands and with horses and chariots and 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 these kind of things you know uh, but uh, but that's not the way of the Lord the way of the Lord is for you to put your trust in his name you see just like the way David did when he fought Goliath but human beings they don't have this relationship with God they look down on God they look down on Jesus Christ they look down on the kingdom of God and they, they say God God Jesus Jesus but then their hearts are very far away from the, the true revelation of God's kingdom because it's not growing within them they don't taste of the kingdom of God neither do they see the power of the kingdom of God because they you know they 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 they, they never ever grow everything that that is within them and all that they are around especially the most important places the so-called churches they choke uh, the kingdom of God you see because the the churches are filled with worldly wisdom and the cares of this world and the deceitfulness of riches which chokes the kingdom of God and what what ends up happening is is uh, some good some genuinely good-hearted people become reindoctrinated in worldly wisdom and carnality you see because those places are, are not built on the rock of, of 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 God Jesus Christ and are not part of the temple of God so we must not you know it's very difficult and only God can save us through Christ uh, from from trusting in worldly wisdom because we build our whole lives trying to satisfy the physical senses physical eyes physical ears you know you buy all this land and you know these properties and things and then you think you're gonna pass them on to your son and your name is going to pass on and but these things are all foolishness nothing is for sure you see the only thing that's for sure is the fact that you you trust in Jesus Christ and you pass that on to everybody you teach them not to trust in worldly things so I would like to go to uh, 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 Genesis chapter 16 uh, verse 1 uh, which is the story of uh, Sarah and Abraham then Abraham see and it says now verse 1 it says now Sarah Abraham's wife bear him no children and she had an handmaid an Egyptian whose name was uh, Agar and Sarai said unto Abraham behold now the Lord has restrained me from bearing I pray thee go in unto my my maid it may be that I may obtain children by her and Abraham hearkened to the voice of Sarai you see so wh wh why 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 would why would Abraham the father of faith the great man of God why would he hearken to to the to the voice of his his wife when when this man Abraham had a great destiny with God you see and 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 had a relationship with God and and all these kind of things it's it's very easy it's it's because he's a human being you know and this is what the flesh does sometimes you know when you hearken unto it you know it was a test pretty much you know because now you see you see what I'm trying to say now now Ishmael was conceived but God had already had a a, a way 
But the thing is that we have to be patient. We have to trust in the Lord and wait on the Lord and the way of the Lord. You see? And and it's not easy. It's not easy at all. I mean all these people who wanna say all these kind of things, you know, we, we, we it's only through Jesus Christ that we can make it. See now I I would like to uh go on to, to what Paul was saying in in Galatians. Um, it's Galatians chapter 4 um, when he, in verse 21 uh, he started off when he said tell me ye that desire to be under the law do ye not hear the law for it is written that Abraham had two sons the one by a bondmaid the other by a free woman but he who was of the bondwoman was born after the flesh but he of the free woman was by promise. Which things are an allegory? For these are two covenants. The one from Mount Sinai, which gendereth to bondage, which is Agar. For this Agar is Mount Sinai in Arabia, and answereth to Jerusalem, which now is, and is in bondage with her children. But Jerusalem, which is above, is free, which is the mother of us all. For it is written, Rejoice thou barren, thou bearest not, break forth and cry, thou that travailest not. For the desolate hath many more children than she which hath an husband. Now we brethren, as Isaac was, are the children of promise. But as then he that was born after the flesh persecuted him that was born after the spirit, even so it is now. See, nevertheless, in verse 30, it says, What saith the scripture? Cast out the bondwoman and her son. For the son of a bondwoman shall not be heir with the son of the free woman. So then, brethren, we are not children of the bondwoman, but of the free. So w w what is this saying? This is, this is very clear in what it says that, you know, we, when, when we go back, we realize that, that Ishmael was conceived after the wisdom of the world, after the flesh. See, it is a fleshly move. You know, you trust in your in your hands and you trust in your ideas, the mind, you know, in the human heart, which is not su submitted to the Spirit of God. You see? And I say these things knowing full well that I myself have done many things in the past. I in the same way, because, you know, we, 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 we human beings and we have to learn how to trust in God and wait on God. I mean, even, 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 even Abraham, see, this is this is this is the thing. So now I want to go back to this verse where it says, you know, that the ones who are free and the ones who are in bondage, the ones who are in bondage are many. You see? And the ones who are free are few. And it says uh it says in verse 27 uh, at the end of it for the desolate hath many more children than she which which hath an husband. You see? And then in verse 29 it says but as that as then he that was born after the flesh persecuted him that was born after the spirit even so it is now when you look at the church you see when you when you when you when you go into the into the into the into the, the so called people that believe in Jesus Christ there are those that are in bondage and then there are those that are free that are led by the spirit of god and then there are those that are led by the wisdom of the world and the flesh and carnality and then the ones who are led by the flesh, the wisdom of the world and carnality persecute the children who are free, the spiritual ones who are led by the Spirit of God. You see? Because one promotes recognition in the world and reputation in the world and having worldly accolades and worldly worldly success and worldly this. And the other one counts all that as done. You see? So we must understand that that we must be children who are free and not not children of bondage not 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 submitted to the flesh and oh i have to go to work and this and that and you look down on 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 godly things and then if you go to you see if you go to isaiah 31 1 uh, it says woe to them that go down to egypt for help and stay on horses and trust in chariots because they are many and in horsemen because they are very strong but they look not to the Holy One of Israel, neither seek the Lord. So what does that say? 
It, it simply means you should not trust in the ways of the world. Can't you get that in, in your head? You mustn't trust in the ways of the world. Because when the, when the tsunami comes or when, when the fire falls, all these things, none of that is going to save you. Because the wisdom of the world is temporary and fleeting, ephemeral. It doesn't last. The wisdom of God is was, is and is to come in Christ Jesus. So you have to trust in these things and wait on them. Stop listening to people, well you need to do this and you need to do that. And you Forget all those voices. This is why it's very important to hear the voice of Jesus Christ in your life.